Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Dynon's intros dual band ADSB traffic WX receiver. The tour is on for the B29 dock. Atlanta Tech fights for recertification. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's March 28th and this is Airborne Unlimited. Dynon's new dual band SV ADSB 472 receives ADSB traffic via 978 and 1090 MHz. In the US, it also receives free text and graphical weather from the FAA's network of ADSB ground stations. Unlike portable ADSB receivers, Skyview and AF5000 pilots receive full ADSB and radar traffic when the SV ADSB 472 is paired with their mode. S transponder and SV GPS 2020. The remote mounted receiver utilizes an externally mounted antenna for superior ADSB reception. Subscription free weather is displayed on Skyview, including Nexrad radar, METARS, and TAFs. Airport weather data can be displayed for nearest airports or for a specific airport identifier. TFR NOTAMs are displayed graphically on the navigation map. The unit receives ADSB traffic targets with precise location, altitude, speed, and direction, including both traffic broadcasts from other aircraft equipped with ADSB UAT transmitters and data broadcasts from ADSB ground stations. For full FAA 2020 ADSB mandate compliance, you can pair this receiver with Dynon's SV Expander 261 and SV GPS 2020 modules for an ADSB out solution. The SV ADSB 472 requires its own antenna. It cannot share the transponder's antenna. A UAT specific antenna or a transponder antenna may be used with SV ADSB 472. The smaller dual band SV ADSB 472 is available now for $795. Doc, the much beloved and recently restored B-29, will make four national tour stops through the first half of 2017 summer tour season. Doc's friend Inc., the group operating the fully restored B-29 Boeing Super Fortress, announced the first half of its tour plan, which includes stops in Kansas, Louisiana, Missouri, and Wisconsin. Jim Murphy, Doc's friend's restoration program manager, said, quote, our vision throughout the restoration project has been to share this historic warbird with the world by operating DOG as a flying museum to honor those who built, maintained, and flew B-29s to protect America's freedom at home and abroad. B-29 DOG will make the following tour stops. B-29 DOG Open House Yingling Aviation, Wichita, Kansas, April 22nd. Defenders of Liberty, Barksdale Air Force Base, Bossier City, Louisiana, May 6th through 7th. Wings Over Whiteman, Whiteman Air Force Base, Knob Noster, Missouri, June 10th through 11th. And EAA Air Venture, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, July 24th through 30th. Docs Friends, Inc. are in contract negotiations with four other air shows that could include stops in Oklahoma, Colorado, and Texas later in the year. Fundraising efforts continue to build Doc a permanent home in Wichita, Kansas, on the grounds at Eisenhower National Airport. After the break, Atlanta Tech wants another chance. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA, one of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Atlanta Technical College upgraded its aviation maintenance programs 
several years ago, hoping to capitalize on the expected shortage of qualified mechanics. But the FAA pulled the school's air agency certificate last December, saying the program did not meet its standards. And now they hope to revive the program. The FAA reportedly said that the school did not maintain proper grade records for students, and several students who had not completed required coursework were allowed to progress anyway. The school had also not enrolled any new students since May of 2014. The FAA also says the school did not provide requested paperwork and continued to administer exit exams and certificates of completion after its approved curriculum was rescinded in June of 2014. Atlanta Tech apparently does not deny the FAA's allegations, but new president Victoria Seals says she hopes to start the program moving forward again. Seals told the paper that the program is a priority resource and the school is working towards revamping the curriculum. The school has spent about $2 million on the program in supplies, equipment, salaries, and benefits since 2014, despite there being no students enrolled in the program. It has also purchased three new Piper airplanes to supplement two owned aircraft. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. This weekend, Saturday through Sunday, April 1st through 2nd, 2017, you have to check out the 2017 Sun and Fun Seabird Splashin' in Tavares, Florida at the Tavares Seaplane Base. Tavares is a great location for seabirds on their way to Sun and Fun, April 4th through 9th, 2017. Tavares, known as America's first, first seaplane city, has all the facilities for seaplane activities as well as walk to hotels and restaurants. The Caribbean Air Rally takes place Monday through Friday, April 3rd through 14th, 2017 at a Fort Lauderdale executive, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is the largest Caribbean flying event since 2010. Hosted by Turks and Caicos, Anguilla, St. Croix USVI, St. Eustatius, and Bequa the Grenadines. The 43rd Annual Sun and Fun International Flying Expo runs from April 4th through 9th, 2017 in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. The fly-in is Sun and Fun's largest fundraiser for the Aerospace Center for Excellence, ACE, a 25-anchor, 11-building campus dedicated to aerospace and STEM education. Approximately 200,000 guests, exhibitors, volunteers, sponsors, and performers are excited to attend. After these messages, Teamsters warn of low pay for mechanics. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Teamsters Airline Division and Teamsters Local 284 says that they are concerned that NetJet's management is ignoring a growing shortage of qualified aircraft mechanics to the detriment of customers, workers, and business itself. The company and the union have been in contract negotiations for nearly six years. Alaska Airlines and Virgin America have shared their vision for the future of the combined carrier. After careful consideration, the combined company will adopt Alaska's name and logo, retiring the Virgin American name, likely sometime in 2019. Gamma board member Greg Fidel testified Thursday before the U.S. Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Subcommittee on Aviation Operations about the regulatory and certification processes at the FAA and reforms to improve U.S. competitiveness in the global marketplace for aviation products and manufacturing. Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame has declared John Giuseppe McGee Jr. as its honorary poet. 
McGee was a 19-year-old Spitfire pilot serving in the Royal Canadian Air Force when he wrote his famous sonnet, High Flight, which has become a symbol of lost aircrew in both peace and war. GoGo -Go Business Aviation continues towards its scheduled launch of its 4G service in the first half of 2017. While Silverhawk Aviation will develop SCCs for the new system, Silverhawk Aviation is an authorized full-service maintenance, repair, and overhaul GoGo -Go dealer. The company will develop STCs for GoGo's 4G system for Cessna Citation 560 series aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The NBAA has released its annual list of top safety focus areas. Topics identified by the NBAA Safety Committee as primary risk mitigation targets for all business aircraft operators. Each year during its annual risk assessment meeting, the NBAA Safety Committee reviews safety survey results, risk-based safety data, and qualitative input from industry and regulatory partners and other NBAA committees and association members. Following this data-driven review, the committee members deliberate and develop a list of safety-focused areas for the year. The committee goal is to promote and stimulate safety-focused discussion and advocacy throughout the business aviation industry, as well as to help NBAA prioritize how it should focus as safety improvement resources. The 2017 NBAA top safety focus areas are loss of control in flight, runway excursions, single pilot accident rate, procedural noncompliance, ground handling collisions, distractions, scenario and risk-based training, and checking airspace complexities. David Ryan, chairman of NBAA's Safety Committee, said, quote, The safety focus areas identified by the Safety Committee underscore the most significant aircraft operations-related risks challenging our industry. We remain adamant in our belief that active effective safety management starts with adopting these five foundations with the ultimate goal of enhancing business aviation safety, Ryan said. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.